Hey, what's going on everybody? Baseball Set 294 here back again. Now this is going to be just a quick update on my new project gun, that being the GNG CM16 Raider. Now since the gun itself is relatively inexpensive, I purchased some relatively inexpensive internal components to go into it. So I felt that was the best match. It wouldn't make a lot of sense to buy really expensive internals for a relatively cheaper gun. So. Since it's more of a beginners to intermediate gun, these will be some more economical upgrades that you would purchase for it. So starting from the barrel, um, I purchased a deep fire barrel as well as a deep few other deep fire um, internal pieces because I've had some recommendations that they're decent quality and they're relatively inexpensive. So I wanted to go ahead and test those out. Now they're available solely at Air Splat right now, so you can go ahead and check them out on their website. But I did get a stainless steel 363 millimeter 6.04 tight bore, um, again from Deep Fire, as well as a Deep Fire cylinder and a Deep Fire metal nozzle with the uh, double O ring. So I was pretty excited about that. But again, the pricing was really, really nice. So. I do want to mention it looks like my barrel is actually bent. I have taken it out of the box and a simple way to test if it is completely straight is just put it on a table that you know is clean and flat and just roll it. If it wobbles or bounces or anything like that or rolls inconsistently then you know that you have a bent barrel. Go ahead and send that back and get a different one because that's going to mess up the trajectory of your BB but it's just the camera angle that makes this look bent. Um, next if you saw the unboxing I do have the modified ball bearing spring guide it's of course metal um, so that's going to be important if you put in a better spring and then I do have a Sistema um, stainless steel M120 spring. Now you may be wondering why I don't have a motor or anything like that yet. I want to go ahead and see how well the stock motor from GNG will perform with this spring. I've heard rumors that it'll be able to take up to an M120 spring. I'm not totally sure on that so I'm going to find out. Um, and then I will order. I do already have actually another order coming with a higher torque motor as well as a better hop up, some better shims, some um, more gear grease which I've completely run out of. So. As always, you know, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. This was a quick update. So these are the parts that I have so far. If you guys have questions about them, or where to get them, go ahead and you can shoot me a message. I'll respond to you. Or if you have any other comments, go ahead and leave them. So I just want to say again, thank you. And as always, be sure to check back for further updates on this gun and further videos. Take care, guys.